let's unbox some Imperial Moth pupae. Imperial moths are large silk moths colored in patterns of yellow and brown like fall leaves with much variation in their markings. And with a wingspan of three to seven inches, they can be quite large. And like most silk moths, the females are typically larger than the males. So as you can see here, I only have one female. It seems they were in short supply this year, even for breeders, and I was unable to locate any over the summer in my area, although it doesn't necessarily mean there was none around. The caterpillars enjoy feasting on maple, sweet gum, oak leaves, and sassafras, and the adult moth does not eat at all. It has a very short time left to create the next generation. These pupae are in diapause, or suspended animation, until the spring, this species of moth does not make a cocoon like many moths do. Instead, it will go underground and make a small chamber for protection while pupating and shedding its skin, remaining there for the winter. In the wild, it would emerge from the ground in the spring, but when reared in captivity like these are, I will have to mimic the conditions it would naturally experience underground, although with a bit more of a controlled environment. They will be wrapped somewhat like you see here and sealed inside plastic containers in a temperature and humidity controlled refrigerator until next spring so they will be hidden away for quite a while but the eventual moth is well worth the wait as it is quite a beauty and here just for comparison let's look at the male and the female together so the female's on the left and you can see she's quite a bit larger than the male on the right that's because they're carrying the eggs and, oh, he just gave me a little wiggle there. They're still active if you disturb them. Even though they are in diapause, they will move around when they are touched. So stay tuned, and when these guys start to emerge, I will be posting. Thanks for watching.